grace and peace unto you. Welcome. Let's get wiser. In today's message, I'll start by asking a question. How did we get here? We live in a world where moral standards seems to shift. Where right and wrong are often blur. But as we explore this message, we will find guidance and clarity in the word of God and wisdom to make the right decision. In the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20, it states, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 5, it states, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For man shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. These are some of the things now plaguing society. We have seen where men have become lovers of themselves have no love for anyone else but them denying the power thereof because they have a form of godliness the word of God tells us from such turn away Societal norms have shifted over time, leading to the erosion of traditional moral values. As moral standards decline, empathy and compassion also diminish. People may become less concerned about the welfare of others, leading to a lack of kindness, generosity, and care for those in need. And you can look around at any big city anywhere in the world and you will see lack of kindness 
lack of generosity and no care for those who are in need. No care for the elder. No care for those physically challenged. No care for the baby, young and tender. Strong moral values are often the glue that holds communities together. When these values decline, social cohesion weakens, leading to a sense of disconnection among people. The consequences of moral decline can extend to future generations, shaping their worldview, values, and behaviors without strong moral guidance. Young people may struggle to navigate ethical dilemmas and make responsible choices. There are places that you would go and you'd see young people strung out on drugs high day after day. These are some of the effects of the erosion of moral standards. In many societies throughout history, slavery was considered acceptable, even justified by some as a natural order for economic necessity and well-being. However, from a moral perspective, slavery is a grave violation of human rights and dignity. In modern day society, a relevant example is the shifting attitudes towards certain social issues, such as same-sex marriage. In the past, same-sex relationships were often stigmatized or considered immoral by societal norms. However, in recent decades, there has been a significant shift in perspectives with many advocating for the acceptance and legal recognition of same-sex marriage as a matter of equality and human rights. There are dangers in conforming to worldly standards rather than God's truth. Jesus prayed for us in the book of John chapter 17 verse 15 to 16. You say, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. He said, we are not of this world, as he is not. Don't lose yourself. 
in the things of this world. All there is is temporal. The pleasures that comes with it, it's temporal. What seems like gain that could disappear or could at some point diminishes its temporal. We were called to store our riches in heaven where no mud or dust or thieves can take it away. As we look at the decline in moral standard, there are spiritual battle behind moral decline. The decision that is being made by those in authority, leaders among us, look at the decisions they made at times. Sometimes it seems those decisions are made from a confused mind. Those decisions are made from a callous person. Let's do as the Apostle Paul instruct us to do in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18. He instructs us to put on the whole armor of God. And there's a reason. To stand firm in these challenging times. To stand firm in a world that sometimes seems that there's no love. To stand firm knowing that wherever you are, God presence surrounds you. In these challenging times, God offer us hope and redemption through the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Nations need to repent and be renewed living according to God's word as the path to true transformation as we reflect on how did we get here let us remember that God's truth is unchanging Society, norms and morals will change. All these things will change. People will evolve from their point of view. But we have a truth, the word of God. It's an unchanging truth. So despite the shift in sands of society, we can find certainty and guidance in the word of God. I implore you, 
to stand firm in your faith, holding fast to what is good and rejecting what is contrary to the will of God. Stand as God has called you to stand in his righteousness in his will stand on his promises unwavering as Abraham stood on the promise when he was called to sacrifice his only son when God had already told him he would make him a father of many nations. God is almighty, all powerful. Stand secure in the arms of God who he holds none can pluck out Heavenly Father we thank you as we stand on your promises as we take heed to your word we ask for wisdom we ask for your guidance Heavenly Father we ask for your protection we ask that you keep us in our right mind when all happen around us Lord help us to look to you as the psalmist say I look to the hills from whence cometh my strength my strength cometh from you Lord Father continue to order our steps in Jesus Christ's name Amen.